like for questions like number one, I sometimes find it easier to make um, a little table. So you're told the ratio of the number of candidates for um, maths and biology is in the ratio five to two. So if you like, I'm going to put maths there and biology there. And I know the ratio of maths to biology is five to two. The question says that the number of candidates for maths was 80. So if you've got 80 students here, the problem is how many students are you going to have here? Now what I tend to do is this. I think, okay, if I multiply the number of maths students by something, I will get 80. What do I have to multiply 5 by to get 80? And it doesn't take long to realise that it's 16. And whatever I then do to the number of maths candidates, I must also do to the number of biology candidates. And if I multiply 2 by 16, I get 32. So the ratio 5 to 2 for maths to biology must be the same as 80 to 32. So the number of candidates for biology must be 32. Now part B is slightly different because it says it takes the 80 maths candidates and divides them between foundation and higher in the ratio 1 to 3. So effectively we're going to divide 80 in the ratio 1 to the 3. First thing that we need to do there is do 1 plus 3 to work out the total number of parts. Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. If we then do 80 divided by 4, that gives us 20. So in other words, our parts, if you like, are 20 to 3 lots of 20, which is 60. Make sure you get this the right way around. Foundation to higher is 1 to 3. So that's foundation. That's higher. The number of foundation candidates then is 20. Again, you could have done it in table form like this. It says foundation to higher is 1 to 3. And you are told that altogether, now here we need to add a little extra, the total is going to be 80. So you are looking for two numbers that are in the ratio 1 to 3 but add up to 80. Well, if we add 1 and 3, we get 4. What do we do to 40 to get 80? Well, answer, we multiply by 20. So to get the same ratio here, we're going to multiply by 20 to get the number of foundations. Well, that's 20. Multiply here to get the number of hires, so 3 times 20 is 60. So 134 gives us the same as 20, 60, 80. 